supporting the field scale watershed analysis, a supplemental exercise for the hydrologic analysis module. Each video of these videos will have a separate subject. This first one will cover the setting up of the basic data required. In order to do this exercise, you'll need the instructions as shown on the screen, and you'll need the data provided with the example, and you'll need ArcGIS available and installed on your computer. The first step will be to open the, the provided data. We'll use the add data, and there are three things in the exercise data that are provided to you. One is a geo database from the Minnesota DNR that was delivered from the MinGeo website. Another would be imagery for the subject area, uh, also from MinGeo downloaded. And the other is the area of interest. And that is a polygon layer that was established for this exercise to help us define a small area of interest. Now, if you're doing this yourself, uh, that you will be using data that you download from MinGeo for a particular area, that would be a tile, very much like this, and you would also download your imagery. But for this exercise, we've packaged it all together for you. We're going to add the data from the Geo database and the data from the geodatabase we want is the DEM, the digital elevation model, the one meter digital elevation model that was derived from LIDAR data. You'll notice that there's other data also provided that was derived from that same LIDAR flight. The contour data, terrain data, buildings, and so on. We'll want the DEM and we'll add that and it covers quite a broad area. So we'll be uh, uh, adding our area of interest uh, polygon so that we can focus on just a particular subject area. And we'll also be uh, opening or adding the imagery so that we'll be able to understand the context of our, our process. After we've added those layers, we'll need to create our workspace. We'll need to create a geodatabase uh, using our catalog within our uh, the area where we've extracted our data and we'll be using the C, a, uh, the C drive A farmer subdirectory that I'd created before and within that I'm going to right click and create a new file geodatabase not a personal geodatabase a file geodatabase the reason for file geodatabase is because of the large size of the files we're, we're working with we create that file, we'll call it a farmer study, and then within that we need to create the structure to store data, so we'll be, we'll be selecting new and doing a feature data set to store the, the information for our vector layers, and we'll call that vector layers, and we'll use the coordinate system from our uh, DEM and from our imagery so that everything matches and we'll say next on the vertical uh, and next taking the defaults on the XY tolerance then we actually have to create within our vector layer uh, data set a feature data class okay which will be a point one for our outlet and we'll, we'll name it outlet, it's point features, and we'll take the defaults. And now we've created an outlet data uh, layer. Um, our, our last step will be to uh, establish our default working area over on File, Map Properties, and we'll be checking store relative path names and we'll be changing our default geodatabase to our uh, a farmer uh, uh, subdirectory to our a farmer study geodatabase so that all our work is directed to our storage place and this is a very important step because with the large lidar files we need to be very organized 
and that I strongly suggest you don't use the geodatabase that you receive from the MinGeo that the DNR had prepared to store your data. You create a, a similar file geodatabase where you're storing your analysis and your extraction process. Our last step will be to make our area of interest hollow uh, so we can see the imagery through it. So we'll be selecting red color and we'll be making it hollow. So your map should look like this. This completes this video.